Hello everyone, welcome to TechWeb Dots. Today we are going to discuss what is singleton design pattern. We will also discuss what is the importance of thread safe singleton design pattern. So let's move ahead without wasting time to check out the agenda. So what is singleton design pattern? We will discuss why singleton design pattern is important to understand and we will also cover the use case of singleton design pattern also including advantages and code coverage and basic understanding of object oriented programming will be very very helpful for you and I will strongly suggest you to watch these videos types of design pattern solid design principle and repository pattern okay so let's move ahead so what singleton design pattern says according to the definition we ensure a class has only one instance and provide a global point of access to it this is a very important line okay we ensure a class has only one instance and provide a global point of access to it and according to the concept a particular class should have only one instance you can use this instance whenever you need it and therefore avoid creating unnecessary objects okay if you have any doubt at any point of time you can just leave into the comment box i will apply on that as soon as possible so let's take example in some software systems you may decide to maintain only one file system so that you can use it for centralized management of resources it means only one file system is doing all the management of resources so that is a brilliant example of singleton design pattern okay because only one instance is working for all the management work and there are key characteristics in singleton design pattern constructor is private okay and we will also use in the same way so you cannot instantiate in a normal fashion like using new keywords because our constructor is private okay and before you attempt to create an instance of a class you check whether you already have an instance available or not and if you do not have any available instance then you create it otherwise you simply refuse it okay there are many approaches and each of each approach has its own pros and cons i will discuss one more approach which we called double checked locking or we can say thread safe okay so i will discuss both of them thread safe one and which is the non thread safe okay this approach can help you to create the instance when they are really needed but you must remember in general locking mechanism is expensive okay so let's move ahead to check out the class diagram so this is our program main method will call the singleton class and in our singleton class which is ultimately a sealed class it has fields instance and number of instances it has property which is instance and it has a method which is singleton okay so without wasting time let's see all these things in action this is my visual studio as you can see on the right hand side this is my solution and the name is design pattern in c sharp and this is the same solution that i was using in my all previous sessions you can see i have explained abstract factory factory method and simple factory okay and now we are talking about the singleton pattern one and you can see under this singleton folder we have only one class which is singleton that i am going to explain so in this what we are doing we are creating a singleton class okay with the help of field keyword okay don't worry if any of the point is not clear i will explain again and again even during the practical session or even after practical session okay so we are creating this class with field keyword okay we are creating one response variable to print any message onto the response okay and this is not part of the singleton pattern i am just using it to print on the response the important part is we are creating one instance which is private static read only okay and we are creating the type of singleton you can see we are using new of instance okay which is out of private and static it means we can call it with the help of class name and it is read only once it is instantiated it cannot be changed okay we are creating one private variable number of instances okay and we will use this variable inside our 
private constructor when we are using private constructor it means we cannot create the instance directly with the new keyword and we are using sealed keyword on the singleton class to prevent any unintended modifications okay so now we have discussed we have one static read only instance variable which contains the instance of singleton and we have one private variable and we have private constructor and here uh, the main property which is public it means we can access it it is of type static and it will return singleton type instance and from here we are returning the instance variable which is ultimately instance of this class okay so this is a very simple demo of sealed class okay now you must be thinking where we are taking care about the thread safe thing okay so let me explain that thing as well one by one i have created one more class this is another version of singleton and i name it singleton ts which is thread safe okay and here what we are doing again i am just creating one response type variable you can ignore it if you want you can use it and one thing is again we are creating private static volatile singleton ts type variable okay this time now we are not creating the instance of it okay and i will explain what volatile is just after this and then we are creating one static type of object variable okay and the name is log object okay and now in the private constructor it means even this class we cannot create the instance of this singleton thread safe okay we are just printing one message we are instantiating thread safe inside the private constructor okay because this is a private one we cannot call it directly but again we have a public property of a static type it will return the singleton class type variable which is instance okay and in that what we are checking before returning the instance we are checking if instance is null then apply a lock on the lock object and even at that point of time even the instance is null then we will create a new instance of singleton okay it is double checking okay and then we are returning the instance this is the power of thread safe now you must be having few questions and i will answer all your questions one by one just wait for a minute so let me call this okay as i said this is normal asp.net core application okay and as you can see if any of the pattern that i want to use i just include that namespace okay and comment any other pattern and you can see these are the commented areas okay i commented every other region in that i have explained simple factory and factory method and abstract factory and now here what we are doing i am just printing one message to respond singleton pattern and then again printing message try to create instance as one okay and in that what we are doing we are calling this class name and calling its static property which will return the instance okay and again we are creating one more instance and now we are checking if these are equal then we are printing only one instance exist and if these are not equal then we are printing different instance exist okay this is from the singleton class only now now the second thread safe example i am also using at the same time just to save your time as well so i am printing message it is thread safe singleton pattern okay and now i'm creating class now i'm creating instance of singleton thread safe okay and even now we are calling singleton thread safe dot instance okay now the instance is successfully created okay and because we are already using message with the help of response we will see the response message so let me run the solution how it's working here we go now we can see the result is as expected we were thinking this is a singleton pattern demo and trying to create the instance as one instantiating the instance from private constructor number of instance one trying to create the second one and only one instance exists okay and this is based on the if else statement that we written over there and this is the thread safe example that i write over there instantiating thread safe inside the private constructor okay so i just tried to keep this example as simple as possible so that you know it will be easy for everyone to understand let's go back to the presentation to cover more important points and basically i will cover most of your questions over there let's go back to the presentation don't worry about this piece of code the github repo link is given in the description of this video let's move ahead further 
to check all the important characteristics of this approach so very number one is the CLR takes care of all the variable initialization process so common language runtime is a heart and core of the program running capabilities just taking care of garbage collection program running execution memory management there are lots of work that that can be done by CLR okay and you can create instance when any member of the class is referenced okay the sealed keyword prevent the further derivation of the class so that its subclass cannot misuse it and read only ensure that the assignment process takes place during the static initialization okay the constructor is private so you cannot instantiate the singleton class inside main this will help you refer to the one instance that can exist in the system the public static member ensure a global point of access it confirms that instantiation process will not start until you invoke the instance property okay that's a very important point as in other words it supports lazy instantiation as well okay now let's talk about few of the questions and why we are making the instance as volatile in double checking logging example so my answer is let's see what C sharp specification tells you the volatile keyword indicates that a field might be modified by multiple threads that are executing at the same time fields that are declared volatile are not subject to compiler optimization that assume access by a single thread this ensures that most up-to-date value is present in the field all the times in simple terms the volatile keyword can help you to provide a serialized access mechanism in other words all threads will observe the changes by any other threads as per the execution order you will also remember that volatile keyword is applicable for class or structure field you cannot apply to local variables now you must be thinking why are multiple object creation is a big concern now object creation in the real world are treated as costly operation i'm saying costly operation sometimes you may need to implement a centralized system for easy maintenance this also helps you to provide a global access mechanism okay now the next question is why are you using the keyword sealed the singleton class has a private constructor that can stop the derivation that can stop the derivation process is that understanding correct so it's a good catch but it was not mandatory but it was always better to show your intention clearly i have used it to guard as one special case if you are tempted to use it a drive nested class okay so i hope i have covered all of your doubts but you still have any doubts you can mention in the comment section and your feedback is as usual very important that's the only inspiration for me to create such videos and you can also mention what topic you want me to cover from the design pattern point of view i will cover in my next video so don't forget to like subscribe and share with your friends okay bye bye